Thirsty kitty, thirsty kitty. Sometimes your donkey walk ahead and then it's weird. So, so what do you do with veggie uh, meat, basically, is what this is. When it tastes so horrible, but it's healthier for you than real meat. And you want to keep eating it. Well, bada bing, bada boom, you dress it up. I'm going to make a burrito today. And the only way to make a burrito with fake meat that tastes like shit is you're going to put barbecue sauce on top of the meat. It's going to be really good. It's going to make the meat taste good. And it'll give some meat some flavor. Now you're thinking, well, once you do that, it's not healthy anymore. True. True. If you have any other ideas to make it still healthy but taste good, even though it tastes like shit, this is something you rate in the comments but see um my mom got this for me not knowing that i didn't like it and so throwing it away and making it and wasting it this is what we got to do so i'm gonna put this in there then i'll put some of honey teriyaki marinade in there then some dorothy lynch then to flavor it more put some mrs dash and teriyaki and then when I put it in the burrito I'll put this on top it's like I'm having a taco burrito with cheese of course and uh, taco bell sauce anything you want to do the meat's in here cooking because you do one third cup of water one and one third or like one third yeah and then you put a paper towel on top and then you put it in the burrito and it's almost done as you can see but uh, if you want to put any other seasonings in there, or any other sauces, flavors, whatever, go right ahead. If you do this, let me know in the comments down below. Send pictures. I would love to see it. Twitter, tweet me. On Twitter, I am Alien88. And if you film it, let me see it. Um, after the meat's cooked. Um, then I will start with the sauces and all that stuff. So let me go get the meat and then we'll continue. Okay, here is the meat. It does, it does smell good. I'm going to take this part off and we're going to throw it away because we don't need it anymore. And this is what the meat looks like. Now the chicken one is better than this one. So to get the chicken one good because it's much better than this crap. Ah, it's fogging up my wind my fogging you guys up, trying to blind me. Anyways, I'm gonna put you guys right here. Hopefully you can see everything. I'm gonna put I'm gonna start off with the base and put a lot of barbecue sauce so that when you taste it, you taste a lot of barbecue sauce. You can even try taco seasoning and see if that flavors it up too. So I'm gonna put a lot of barbecue sauce because that's the main ingredient. Whatever you're gonna use for your main ingredient that you want a lot of taste of, put in there. I'm gonna stir that up. Now, if all you want to do is barbecue sauce, that's fine. It makes it taste really good. Take some teriyaki sauce. Sprinkle a little teriyaki. Take honey, mayonnaise, or stuff, and sprinkle it on there as well. Just a little bit. And then stir it together. Now it makes it a liquid because there's so many sauces. Dorothy Lynch next, but I just want a pinch of Dorothy Lynch, not too much. 
and then dash, just a pinch of dash. And then stir it all together. And you're going to want to taste it every time you put something in here to make sure it tastes good. So. That's what it should look like. Nice and soupy. Now this and the other stuff is going to be on top of it as I put it into here with the cheese. So let's set that to the side. Let's get a plate. Okay. Got a plate out. I'm going to get my tortillas out. Then I'm going to take my cheese. Now you can use any cheese you want. You can make this however you want. But I'm going to break this in half. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Ooh. Okay. I'm going to do like a diagonal thing. That looks like that. That way I can put the meat right in the middle. And then I'll do the opposite with this cheese on top. Just for something, I don't know, different. Okay, let's start putting it on. I forgot, which is my last one, which sucks, but I can start using the ones my mom's got is a uh, sweetener, which is this stuff here. My mom has the better sweetener than this. Um, I'm going to take taco sauce, sprinkle a little bit on top. Do the taco, the taco bell sauce too. Just one package. And then sprinkle the sweetener. Just want one package. And then we're gonna take the cheese and do the opposite diagonal way. And then to close it all in, you will want to put it in the microwave for 30 seconds. So since I did it this way, we're going to do it this way. So it looks like that. Just in case you can't see it. And then I'm going to wrap it like you would a burrito. And if it comes out, then we'll make it a burrito that we can eat with a spoon, with a fork and knife. Which I think I'm going to have to with this one. Because it just came out. Which is okay, because I will. That just makes me want to sprinkle some sauce and stuff on the outside. And just for funsies, I just... sprinkled some stuff on top. So I'm going to put it in the microwave and we're going to eat it. Well, while it's cooking in the microwave, I always tell you guys clean up your mess. So I'm going to clean this up and then we'll come back with the burrito. There is the burrito. So 
Sorry about that. Brother in the room. <clears throat> Brother came in, but I uh, already started cutting. And now we're going to try it. Good cheese and oil. Mmm. So good. Mm. I did a fabulous job. So that's what you do to food. So if you have any food that tastes really bad and you don't want to throw it out because it's a waste, dress it up with some sauces and some seasoning. I'm going to be quick while I watch General Hospital. Bye. Later, haters.